So today guys, I bring you 5 amazing superior weapons you do not want to miss. These are some of the best weapons in Dead Island 2 and today I will guide you into getting each and every one. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So these weapons are mainly tied to side quests or main objectives to complete, but all are 100% worth your time going to get them. Okay, so we will start with the Peggy. This is a rifle which hits like a truck, easily one of the most powerful weapons in this game. So Peggy is a rifle you see actually real early on within a side quest called the Death of the Party. This uh, weapon is in the hands of a guy you will meet within this side quest. So this side quest is located right here in Bel Air. It's called, like I said, the death of the party, and this is one you will have to complete uh, to progress on to get this Peggy weapon. This quest you first meet Curtis, the old retired actor. So completing this early on sends him to stay at Emma's mansion where you need him to be. So from here guys, you have to progress the game further, and he will eventually have another side quest for you. I have completed the game, I did so before I realised he had one, but this isn't necessary. You do not have to complete the game to get this side quest, but as you do progress, he will eventually have this quest for you, so if he doesn't so far, keep checking back. So the second quest is called Creature Comforts, and it sees you going out on an errand run for Curtis, as he wants you to pick up some whiskey, wine and cigars. So first up, you'll have to head back to that first mansion you would have come to start in the game. As you progress through this area, you need to grab a few items to complete this stage. One is found as you enter the back door, right here on the side. Then you want to come to the wine room. There's a couple of things here you need to grab. Now guys, you need to head upstairs and go to that guest bedroom where you can only get in from the outside because it's locked from the inside. Be careful though of those shotgun traps, they are brutal. When you are in here you will find Cindy's safe. To open this you will need to head back downstairs and you will find Cindy the Screamer. Take her out, grab those keys, go back to that safe and you are done at this part. Now guys you need to head as indicated on your map to the gold pen house. Firstly in here you need to head down to that wine cellar room then break your way in. There will be a few zombies to take care of so do what you gotta do here. Then guys look around and grab all what's on offer here alcohol wise. When you are done here you get a radio call from Curtis asking you to get him some cigars. These are in the master bedroom but it's locked from the inside. So here you need to go onto the roof area and jump down as I do on screen now. Now once you break into this room from the outside, it, the alarm goes off and notifies so many zombies, it's unreal. So you need to take them out. Then guys, all you have to do is walk into that walk-in wardrobe area and grab those cigars. Then you, all you have to do is head back to Emma's mansion and go to Curtis. He will now reward you with Peggy. And there you have it people, one of the most powerful weapons in this game. Next up guys we have the Red Dragon, a super powerful unique looking shotgun you just do not want to miss. Okay so, you want to come to the Ocean Avenue area, the Ocean Avenue map and I don't, you eventually you'll get past this part, most people will already be past this part, if you haven't yet, let's progress the main story mission and eventually you'll come here and you'll get this uh, save point within this hotel, it's not too uh, early on in the game, I'm not going to lie, but hey, eventually guys you'll have a vendor who's located right here, so come around this corner and he's at the bar right there and his name is Dougie, good old Dougie, he sells this weapon here. Now mine is a level 30 and it's 27,300 but it's one you 100% want to buy because it's unique. It's like a named weapon and I mean there's not many of these you can buy in the game from vendors. So it's, it's definitely one you do want to get guys. Next up guys we have the extinction event. The melting pistol as I call this thing, utterly amazing to use, super powerful and as like I said it literally guys melts zombies. So to get this thing you first have to have completed the Boardwalking Dead story campaign mission. 
as it's at or within this mission, you encounter your first clan type butcher zombie. Upon defeating him, these butchers will then spawn across the lands. So once you have taken this butcher zombie out, the clown, you will then need to come to this point within Beverly Hills. Here guys, at the bottom or top of this hill, depending where you are, will be a butcher called Target Practice. Now I need to take this dude out. Once you do, he drops Nikki's prize keys. From here, you need to follow the path I take on screen now up into this house and to this safe. Open the safe people and you are rewarded this amazing weapon. So yes, have fun with this one. Next up we have the Electrocute a Pistol. What a weapon this is. I call it a Space Pistol due to the quest it's tied to, but it is another one you need in your lives. So this weapon and how it's unlocked uh, will have many people confused because it comes from a locked container you have to progress the game way further on to unlock. So the container which you may have already come across is located within Monarch Studios. The container is called the Space Fox 2250 Prop. Again, this can't be unlocked unless you progress the main story past this point. So this is what you need to do to get this amazing weapon. A space gun type of weapon for sure. Progress the main story quest line until you get to Venice Beach. Here guys, you need to progress the story a little further, or at least from my understanding, start the progress within the Venice Beach area the main story progression that is i have seen people report that this container is tied to a side mission you receive at venice beach called it came from monarch studios this isn't true though as i haven't picked this quest up yet and i have this weapon but once you are at venice beach guys and progressed it a little bit further now you need to make your way back to Monarch Studios. Upon landing back here, you need to head to this position on the map. You are looking for an enemy called Space Fox Prop Master. Now once you take this guy down, you then gain access to this loot box upon grabbing those keys this enemy drops. So head to this point on the map right here guys, which isn't too far away from where this enemy spawns in. Open this container and grab this gun. It really is that simple. What I will say is, this enemy will follow you all around the map. So if you've came back here for something else after progressing and you've come across this enemy and not realized it, he could have moved. So bear that in mind, you may need to reset the area by traveling out and back in. But yeah guys, it's by far one of the best weapons I've had within Dead Island 2 and you do not want to miss it. And lastly today guys we have the Jade Dragon, one of my favourite melee weapons in this game by a mile, a few simple mods on this thing and it's one of the best weapons in the game. So the Jade Dragon is a weapon rewarded to you by Sarah, Sarah of Monarch Studios. Now this Jade Dragon is a quest reward from Sarah but it's not the first quest you will do for her. So initially to trigger her quest to appear, you will need to progress the game up until you get to Venice Beach. Here you will have to uh, complete a main story mission called the Giant Slayer. Upon you completing this mission, head inside the Blue Crab safe house, seen right here on the map, and you will see or hear a radio calling for help. Talk to said radio, or literally initiate contact with it. This is Sarah. This will also trigger a side quest for you called It Came From Monarch Studios. It requires you to head to this part of the map right here within Monarch Studios to help Sarah out. Upon you getting here guys, you need to clear the path of zombies and speak to her. A quest is for you to find Sebastian, which eventually after a few minutes of zombies slaying and clearing out, you will find him. Remember though, you need to take that bag with you to progress the mission, but you'll understand what I mean if you haven't done this yet. 
Once this quest is done, you will then, I believe, need to progress the game a little further on by going to that pier area and doing a main story mission called Boardwalking Dead. It's here you first encounter the butcher type zombies. Uh, with this clown type zombie boss, pretty badass. But upon you taking him out, you unlock these butcher enemies across the lands. You then guys unlock the quest for the Jade Dragon Weapon. It's called the Terror of Stage 7. And you start this quest by coming to this trailer on a map right here, back within the Monarch Studios area. Go inside the trailer guys and speak with Sarah. The quest requires you to head to Sand Stage 7, clear out a few zombies which will then progress you on to investigating the hidden terror that lurks within the streets. To do this you need to uh, locate three bodies and investigate them, real easy to do. You then guys have to lure zombies into this area then slay them and finally guys you need to take out that terror of Sand Stage 7 who is a butcher type zombie. Upon you taking him out you then need to head back to Sarah who rewards you this amazing weapon. And there we have it guys, 5 amazing weapons you need to have in your life. On that note, the end of the video has arrived, if you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe, and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.